Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone. Hopefully you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And in this video, we are gonna be doing one of the most requested mods for my new 2024 Mustang GT, and that's going to be window tent. You guys have been blowing me up, bro. When are you gonna tent the windows? What is it gonna happen? We're gonna get done today, and we are gonna be going balls to the wall here. We're gonna be going illegal. So, if you guys enjoy the content on the channel, feel free. Drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications. Let's get on the way. Now, for the 2024, we are going to be doing 5% all the way around. And we are going to have 35% tent on the windshield. This is exactly how I had the old white two valve set up on the Shelby GT350. Honestly, I never tinted these windows. They came tinted when I bought the car, but I kind of like how it is. So I'm just gonna leave it alone for right now. If I completely fall back in love with the 5%, 35% on the shield, I'll get that done on this car. But this is kind of why I need to go do it now because I didn't really even realize this, but you can see like directly into the car from behind and obviously from the front. And that's just something I'm not really vibing with <laughs> in all reality. We gotta go ahead and, uh, oops, we gotta go ahead and, Get these windows tinted, man. So let's get a cold start. Oh my goodness, the weather has been so, so shitty these past couple days, man. Rain, just now it's starting to get hot. Ugh, crazy. Three, two, one. good news is I do believe we're gonna be doing headers on this car a little bit sooner because there is a way that you can actually get headers on the 2024 Mustang GT that does not cost three thousand dollars and that is a massive W because headers on this from what I originally saw was like 3k to do which is kind of ridiculous because I didn't even spend close to that to do it on the Shelby GT350 I'm like dude GT headers is three bands for this like that doesn't make sense but there's a way you could pretty much slash that in half so you might be doing headers on the car which is going to be good because obviously boost and cats do not mix whatsoever even on low boost low boost 93 it's just something that i personally don't want to do because it's not a matter of if it's when the cats are going to fail and that's going to cause a lot of problems so we're probably going to do headers on this car um i was going to do wheels and tires but the wheels and tires i do want are like delayed for like two months so it just makes sense to do headers and then wheels and tires and then good old boost which is actually kind of going on track because normally i always do like a full exhaust or you know if the car doesn't come with a nice cat back this car already does so that's some cheddar i get to keep i usually do a full exhaust and then oh my gosh i just took a shower so i don't know if this is all showing on the camera but i usually do a full exhaust and then i'll do like a tire in this case wheel and tire and then we're gonna go boost so everything is kind of going to plan uh with the 2024 so far which is awesome all right so we're on the road headed over to my boy's house we can go ahead and get this knocked out And I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> after driving the Shelby GT350 and then getting back in this car, this really is a computer on wheels. Like it, it, it does everything. The auto downshift. I mean, I almost stalled it. I'm not gonna lie, I almost stalled it actually pulling out of my uh, my driveway. But obviously, with the clutch all assisting, 
<laughs> the driver and whatnot. You know, it pretty much just whoop. Keeps feeding the motor enough gas so that don't happen. Speaking of uh gas, let's go ahead and open up the exhaust. trucking y'all we trucking get these braking miles done we trucking i know some people say you can go ahead and just start beating on the car now once it gets to around like 500 or so but i'm probably just gonna do it right and just take it to a thousand in all reality Yeah, this car definitely, the steering wheel in the 2024, like, this is, this is a good fucking wheel. It is definitely thicker than the Shelby G250 wheel, which is really, really strange. It's, hey, this is a base model. Like, I can't believe that the wheel in the base model is, like, actually this good. Because usually they give you like a cheap ass wheel, like a circle wheel. This is like a flat bottom. It's thick. Feels good. Like, this is a massive W. They really did. I mean, they, I say it every video, man. Or at least almost every video. They did a really good job with like, I don't care what anybody says, dude. Like, the screens. It, I don't care. Um, and on top of that, it's just like, everything else. Almost kind of, almost kind of killed it right there. Everything else in here. stalling it <laughs> all that gas is gonna went whoop. some draggy numbers on the Whipple setups these things are actually really really impressive for just like a 93 tune obviously some of these cars that you know are running the the Whipple kit you know they have headers and an H pipe but again this is with the Whipple calibration that really actually isn't you know calibrated for headers and the H pipe so there is some left on the table potentially a lot left on the table and these cars are running you know 6.0, 6.1s, and even 5 seconds, 60 to 130. I saw a 5 seconds, 60 to 130 with a, uh, an NT82 car uh, on a drag pack and a rear seat delete. Ooh. Didn't think the car had a K. The car had a K member, though, to offset the whipple weight. But, you know, for a can tune, that's pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. So if they're running like that, you know, headers and on the Whipple calibration tune, that might be the way to go. Now, 
these obviously are stage two cars uh the stage one cars are normally a full second and a half slower just due to the fact that they don't run as cool man dude look at that the planes coming in to land that's actually a crazy sight right there uh the stage one cars do not run as cool so obviously the calibration cannot be as aggressive so it is going to be you know some left on the table so i might just go with the stage two yeah it's going to avoid the warranty but it's like it is what it is <laughs> because having the car run cooler and for it to pick up that much that's pretty interesting and i think that'd be 100 percent worth it in my personal opinion now the question is how long is the stock clutch gonna last because i don't really think there is that many clutch if there isn't at all i don't think there is that many clutch options for this car i wonder if you could still use the clutches from the gen 3s on here i want to say you can because it is the same transmission because that would be worth actually going ahead and investigating if that could be done because i mean this clutch it feels all right doesn't feel as good as the Shelby GT50 clutch. It's a little bit heavier, but that's because it's a single disc. If I was to go ahead and get like a Vengeance clutch in here, because I know Vengeance makes a really nice clutch for the MT82, especially like the built MT82s. If I was to put like a Vengeance clutch in here, just to kind of, I guess, make it engage a little bit smoother, and then, you know, kind of prevent it from having a, a potential issue with boost, I'd actually get that done um, and then boost it because I mean, I trust this transmission, but at the same time, I don't trust it because, again, it's a single disc, it's the MT82, you know, <laughs> it don't have, it doesn't have the greatest track record, and now I'm, I'm pretty much having to get used to the car again because I'm so used to, I got used to that twin disc again, so we'll see. Let me know in the comment section uh, if you guys know if you can actually use the clutches from the Gen 3 on the Gen 4. But yeah, I'm going to catch y'all when I get close to my boy's place because we're probably going to start hitting hella traffic because this is all construction. So I'm going to catch y'all in a bit. One eternity later. We're about to pull up. At this stop sign, turn left. Then the destination is on your left. Dark as hell. <laughs> you should have torch? Yeah, it looks good though. I have a torch if you want to use it. Uh, uh, not from the inside, from the outside. Yeah. Okay. Put these on there. Those will look good on the Shelby, but. Bro, there you go. Hell yeah. They would look good on that car. But. <laughs> Man, I'll do a 14 for you, bro. Just 14? Just... I gotta get brakes, bro. I gotta. I was about to hit up Angel for the brakes, the rear brakes. Uh, there you go. But he asked like 17. I'm like, Man, bro, I can get that shit way cheaper. I'd rather pay like brand new price for some brakes, you know? How much is he at the rear ones for? Like 17. Fuck no. The wheels, yeah. No, the brakes. No, the, the brakes aren't even that expensive. 
That's what I'm saying. He went a 17 for the rears. I was like, eh, like, if I can get him I'd rather just get like brand new brakes and shit like that, you know? If I can get him to do a thousand for the brakes. The front and back? Nah. Nah, I, I was like, cause I really need the rears, but the fronts would be nice too. Who, Angel? That should look good. Alright, right. Whoo! Man. And it's really changed the whole look of the car for real. Hell yeah. Yeah, you can't see in here no more. You can't see from behind the car. Yeah, we never got a run either, bro. Oh, no. I yeah, I like it. For sure. Bro, this shit's fire. It's nice. You can see just... looking in. Be Not too crazy though. Yeah. Well, I didn't have a. Let's see how it is inside. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, Damn. Ooh. Yeah, it's not bad. Just like. Being inside, you know, it's it, it's a little dark, but for the most part, it's not bad whatsoever. I fuck with it. All right, we're in some better lighting, and uh, or I should say outdoor lighting, natural lighting. Looks really good. 35 on the windshield, five all the way around. The car needs to get washed. Um, I went muddy gun accident pulling in to the garage. Reversing is not my strong suit, but man, dude, really, really like it. Now the question is, do I black out the pony and kind of black out the 5.0 badges? I think I'm probably gonna do that when I get my new wheels. But right now, because of the wheel color, the badges still make sense, especially the brake color as well. So I'm going to leave it the way it is right now. But when I do get my new wheels, then I'm most likely going to black out the pony badge as well as the side badge. Either they're going to black them out or we're going to go bronze kind of going ahead and give you guys a teaser of the the wheels we're gonna get but I think it's gonna look real good again now that we are out of the garage in natural lighting here we go obviously can't roll down the windows but it looks really good um I was told that I could go ahead and take the car through a touchless immediately but i'm probably just gonna play it safe obviously you know nothing's on the outside or whatnot I, i'm probably just tweaking i mean ain't nothing on the outside but um yeah i'm tweaking i'm gonna go ahead and get this car washed up real quick get up a touchless but i think it looks pretty good let me know what y'all think man again this is technically well and not technically it is illegal to do this but <laughs> i think it looks pretty good all right, so I'm on my way home. Let me know what y'all think, man. And also, compared to the previous videos, are you guys noticing a difference on camera? Because on camera is always different than in person. In person, I don't notice anything because with the higher quality tent, you can see perfectly fine. I mean, 5%, it's very easy to see, I mean, from the rear, very, very easy to see. From the front, very easy to see. It's only 35%. Now I will say this, compared to the white two valve, this so far, it feels like I have slightly better visibility. I don't remember exactly the tent that was used on the, the quality of tent that was used in the white two valve. It was good because it never had any like bubbling after like, you know, literally over a year of it being on the car. 
so that was a huge W hopefully this is the same but I don't have any issues with seeing which is a massive W so if you guys are wondering visibility with 35 on the windshield 5% all the way around I mean it's literally nice if you get the high quality tent that's gonna be the caveat like you're gonna need to have you know some higher quality tent which is gonna cost a little bit more but if you're gonna be rocking you know with the dark the dark tent you gotta go with it now as far as the next round of, uh, of modifications I'm gonna go ahead and count tent as a mod because this this literally does change the way the whole car looks in my personal opinion the car looks a lot more aggressive obviously when you have the darker tent versus you know the fishbowl and with this uh with this gray it, i think it really you know makes it look mean like for real i think it really makes it look mean it makes the wheels look better on the car than they actually are when you actually have the the darker tent which is kind of funny oh my gosh what the hell is up here that shit out the fucking road bro where's the dot when you need them now as far as the next round of modifications go for the 2024 mustang gt i think i'm gonna go with a set of cooks one and seven days long tube headers no reason to go with the two inch long tube headers because you know you don't need two inch unless you're gonna make over 1200 and to the fact that this car can't even be tuned that's not possible the max you can make on this is like 750 uh so i mean well you could probably make a little bit more but it'd be sketch and i'm not gonna really go through that route but one and seven days long tube headers with the um the race connection pipe as well as the uh green cat pipe so it's gonna sound not loud but it's gonna be i guess refining the tone but it's still gonna be a nice deep tone because we have the h pipe and i'm also going to keep the stock active exhaust i'm not going to get rid of the stock active exhaust i don't really think there's a reason to get rid of the stock active exhaust on the newer mustangs unless you go like twin turbo or you're trying to you know get as much weight reduction as possible the stock active exhaust flows perfectly fine it is on the heavier side but at the same time i do like having the ability of toggling between the quiet the normal the sport as well as the track modes and on top of that it does look really good uh, with this rear diffuser and valence that we do have on the s650 so we're gonna go with some cooks one and seven things log tube headers we're gonna still keep the steta uh h pipe and then the stock active exhaust and i think it's going to sound perfect with that setup and uh it's gonna have a nice deep refined tone that I know I'll enjoy and I know you guys will hopefully enjoy as well if you don't oh well but it's kind of crazy because typically whenever I go you know with an exhaust setup you know I'm going for you know loud I don't really care for the rasp but for this platform shit bro it's almost like the deep tone sounds too good to get rid of in my personal opinion that's kind of why i went with the h-pipe even if it didn't increase the horsepower i still would have kept the h-pipe um or would have went with the h-pipe but these just sound so much deeper than the previous gens i know some people like to say oh, they sound the same they don't sound the same not at all um i've been around gen 3 coyotes my entire life never owned one but i've been around gen 3 coyotes you know shit bro like since they released so in, in my entire life as far as cars go and these are 100 percent significantly deeper and i really like the way it sounds it's the complete opposite of the shelby gt350 so i have like the best of both worlds i have like the loud 5.2 voodoo and then i have like this you know low grunt mean sounding coyote which is ironic because these are always you know referred to as you know rasp machines and just loud and no tone that's kind of why i'm not changing the cat back because these should sound too good the way they are even with the windows rolled up man i gotta roll with the windows rolled up for like the next like five six days at least just to make sure that this tent sticks 
I think it sounds amazing. Very daily drivable. You could barely hear the exhaust during the highway, and I had it literally in the trap mode the whole time. It would have been dead quiet if I switched it to, you know, the normal mode. What is going on up here, man? I like that audio over there. That might have been a Honda, actually. I don't think that was an Audi. It wasn't an Audi. Oh my god. I thought that was an Audi. Oh, hell no. I'm about to go around, I think. Oh, no, he's about to turn. I was like, bro, is there traffic up here or, or no? Like, wow. miles man got 400 to go with his windshield wipers up dude that guy is literally on meth or something i don't know if y'all saw that i don't know if the angle allows you to see that but that dude was literally driving with his windshield wipers up like bro huh that's actually crazy the shit you see out in texas man i tell you it's some of the stuff doesn't make any sense <laughs> whatsoever bro I'm gonna catch y'all when I get close to the crib because it's like two o'clock right now. So I know for a fact we're gonna hit that, you know, midday traffic and it's gonna be stop and go. One eternity later. All right, so I'm back at the Casa and window tent for real changed the game, man. I don't wash the car yet. I want to come home real quick. But, woo, can't even see in there no more. From the front, I mean, you kind of can, but at the same time, hell yeah, bro. Some of the stuff still has to kind of settle, but look good. I mean, look at the difference. Absolute. W. All right, so if you guys enjoy the content on the channel today and are excited for some more modifications, feel free, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one, man. Window tent. I should have done this the same day I picked up the car, no bullshit. But uh, really happy. Catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.